This morning, the committee investigating the January 6th attack on the Capitol suggests former President Trump may have tried to influence witness testimony after calling a witness not yet seen at the hearings. That person declined to answer or respond to President Trump's call and instead alerted their lawyer to the call. Their lawyer alerted us. And this committee has supplied that information to the Department of Justice. The disclosure at the end of yesterday's hearing is not the first time the committee has raised concern about witnesses being contacted by Trump's team. It's unclear what, if anything, the Justice Department will do with the committee's referral. Before DOJ would take any action, it would need to know a great deal more. For example, did President Trump know this person had been called to be a witness? And exactly what was the context of that call? The committee heard testimony yesterday from former White House counsel Pat Cipollone, who described a, quote, unhinged meeting at the White House on December 18th, involving a group of outside advisors to the president looking to challenge the 2020 election results. Among them, retired General Michael Flynn and lawyers Rudy Giuliani and Sidney Powell, who wanted Trump to issue an order to seize voting machines. Cipollone says he raced to the Oval Office when he found out about the meeting. To have the federal government seize voting machines, that's a terrible idea for the country. That's not how we do things in the United States. When the meeting finished, Trump tweeted his supporters calling on them to come to Washington on January 6th, saying it will be wild. Stephen Ayers, an Ohio man who pleaded guilty to participating in the riot, testified that that tweet from Trump inspired him to travel to Washington. Basically, uh, you know, the president, you know, got everybody riled up. Ayers said he only left the Capitol after Trump posted a video telling rioters to leave. We literally left right after that come out. If he would have done that earlier in the day, 1.30, I, I, you know, you know, we wouldn't be in this, maybe we wouldn't be in this bad of a situation. The committee also showed a drafted tweet not sent by Trump, which called on his supporters to, quote, march to the Capitol on January 6th. Committee members claim it shows the attack was premeditated. Legal experts say the evidence revealed by the committee may show that Trump inspired the attack, but it's likely not enough to bring charges unless a direct link can be shown between Trump and the extremist groups that stormed the Capitol. While some of his rhetoric that morning was clearly inflammatory, he also used the word peacefully when he spoke during the rally, which is a legal matter is very important. The committee's next public hearing is next Thursday in prime time. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.